evening. Good to have you with us in the 9 p.m. edition of the Urban Debate. Let's switch the spotlight now to all the political action within the Congress party in the state of Punjab. And a few days ago, the Congress leadership finally decided that they are going to go ahead and make Navjot Singh Sidhu the Punjab Congress chief. But if they thought this is going to be the end of the trouble for them, that's not happened. The infighting, in fact, continues. Captain Amrinder went on to harden his stand and said that he's not going to meet Navjot Singh Sidhu until Sidhu publicly apologizes. The advisor to Captain Amrinder, in fact, put out that tweet saying that he's not going to meet Sidhu until Sidhu publicly apologizes for all the derogatory comments, the tweets that he's been putting out against the Punjab chief minister. But the other side is not budging either, let alone in apology. They're actually going about building further support. They're actually going about getting all the MLAs and leaders and ministers of Punjab together as a show of strength to say this is the new order now in the state of Punjab for Congress. And either everybody falls in line and follows Sidhu as the PCC chief or they can be left out and sidelined. Now, as this infighting continues, one basic question that we've been asking even earlier is, will it be detrimental to the Congress's political fortunes? Or will this dual power center where uh, Captain Amrinder continues to be the CM face, but for the rest of it, there is Sidhu, will this really help them in any manner? Today, Sidhu visited the Golden Temple in Amritsar took along the supporting MLAs who were ferried in this luxury bus. The numbers vary. Some say about, you know, about over 40 MLAs. Some say even more than that. Over 60 MLAs actually turned up uh, for this meeting that had been called by Navjot Singh Sidhu. There was a meeting at his residence as well. Though he obviously he had called all the 77 Punjab Congress leaders. But a majority of them did turn up. What does this mean? Is there a change in shift of power? Let's ask our experts what's going on. I say good evening to Charan Singh Sapra of the Congress Party, Mahishinder Singh Greval, Senior Vice President and Spokesperson for the Shuramani Akani Dal. Vipin Pabi, Senior Journalist, joins us this evening and also Political Editor of Hindustan Times, Venus Sharma, joining me this evening. Mr. Sharma, very interesting actually what happened today. Uh, you know, for, I think for the first time we actually saw it in written you know, from the uh, captain camp, somebody is saying that Sidhu needs to apologize before there is any meeting. And on the other hand, all these MLAs who turned up for the meeting at Sidhu's residence, this change in balance of power, tilting on one side, would you agree? That's happening now in Punjab? <laughs> I find this uh, very funny, you know, to be honest. What is the real challenge before the Congress? Not to find out as to how many MLAs are between the two leaders, you know, how, how many MLAs will get divided between the two leaders. The real challenge is how many MLAs would get elected in the elections. And the Congress leadership, top leadership, should ask itself whether it can enter the election fray with one horse in the chariot, the young horse in the chariot, and not the old war horse. They are missing the wood for the trees. I just don't know what they are doing. I, you know, Sidhu is indeed a force multiplier for the Congress. But the bulwark is Amarendra Singh. You can't be expending Amarendra Singh and promoting Sidhu and vice versa. So there should be a quick intervention from the central leadership to have to ensure a meeting between the two, to create a working relationship between the two, if they are serious about fighting elections and winning elections. What they have done till now is to let one person have a free run of the place. It doesn't work that way. And some of his supporters are also saying that like in, before the previous election, Mr. Bajwa was asked to vacate the PCC position and Avrinder Singh was installed there and then later projected as the chief minister face. The same thing is good. The template will get repeated this time. Now, this is clear suicidal tendency. This is not a party willing to live another day to fight another battle. 
It's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. I mean, from the Congress standpoint. Le let me let me take that point across to Shalom Singh Sapra. Right. Mr. Sapra, your response to what senior journalist Vinod Sharma is saying? I agree to, uh, to some extent with uh, Mr. Vinod Sharma, but uh, let us see this part also that uh, Mr. Sindhu, since he has been announced, he has been meeting all the state leaders, including the MLAs, including the ministers and uh, some senior congressmen also. He's trying to give a message that he wants to take uh, all the factions together and, uh, you know, both the leaders have uh, a defined role as well as a common goal. So he's trying to give a message that we have, uh, we have to go towards a common goal and he's taking everybody along. Uh, I agree with Mr. Vinod Sharma that some Congress leaders should resist uh, from giving uh, statements to the media. I feel whatever uh, differences or maybe whatever uneasiness is there between both the top leaders, that will get sorted out. Uh, it will be short-lived and uh, probably it will get sorted out at the party level. And uh, I feel it will get sorted out sooner because as Mr. Sidhu may take uh, the charge of uh, his office on Friday. So I feel uh, uh, another 48 hours it will get sorted. No, so, okay, so, so, Mr. Vipin Pabi, let me bring you in. Do, do, uh, do you see what Sidhu is doing as a sign to take everybody along or as a sign that I am the man in charge now uh, and everybody is just uh, falling in line? Well, the spectator in Punjab, as you are all saying, everyone is watching it. It's rather hilarious, if not ironical. Um, because there are two war horses of uh, Congress in Punjab, and right now both are pulling in wrong directions. I mean, it's a very, very strange position. I haven't uh, you know, covered this kind of a thing in the last 40 years of uh, covering politics, that uh, you have a, a party chief and you have a chief minister who are fighting against each other. The chief minister is refusing to meet him unless he apologizes, and this Navdo Sidhu says, I will not apologize. I mean, he hasn't said that, but at least he has not apologized. So right now the situation is very, very ironical and um, there are several ministers uh, from Congress, uh, from Captain Amrinder Singh camp, uh, who say we will not meet him, like Brahmendra, unless he patches up with the chief minister. And uh, But at the same time, Navjo Sidhu has got quite a support, uh, just as it happens for any rising sun, you know, uh, there is support for him and a lot of support that has come in. Uh, many fence sitters have also joined him and he's got a good response uh, in Amritsar. But the stalemate is definitely uh, going to damage the Congress and everyone is watching it, uh, you know, uh, with the trepidation. Particularly the, the opposition parties are, must be very happy uh, looking at this scenario. Unless they are able to resolve this situation, it is going to be very, very tough. Already the Congress has shot itself in the foot. Now it is time to really uh, to get the party high command get into this and resolve the issue. It has been two days. I don't. I haven't heard anything from the party high command or from Harish Rawat or whatever is happening in the state. I hope and I wish. I don't know uh, they are doing anything. But on the face of it, in public, Congress high command has not intervened. Navjo Sidhu is on his own and Captain Amrinder Singh is on his own. He is attending or holding meetings, but the twin has is not coming uh, together which is certainly not a very good image for the Congress. Yes, and that's the whole point. I mean, it's a spectacle that everybody is sitting and watching and nobody at this point believes Mr. Sapra, the way it is being handled is going to be beneficial for the Congress party. But let me, let me bring in Mr. Grewal also on this. Mr. Grewal. As long as this infighting continues, do you think you or the opposition party stand to benefit? Uh, tell me whether there is any infighting or not. That's not going to affect other parties because the Congress performance in last four and a half year is miserable. Whether it's come to the unemployment, whether it comes to the rising prices, whether it comes to the commitments made they made to uh, people and uh, the the way Congress worker are now trying to project Mr. Sidhu as a hero, they should not forget this thing that he was also a part of this government for two and a half years. He is equally responsible for all the lapses. 
and i tell you this uh, thing what they are doing is a, is a problem created by the central leadership of the congress party because they wanted to snap captain amrinder singh they did it and uh, it's to be seen how mr uh, they now sort out if we go by the demand by captain amrinder singh camp that mr siddhu should apologize to him publicly i think uh, siddhu will not do it for one reason very clear reason because he has uh, said even worst words about mrs sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi even then what he has said about captain amrinder singh if tomorrow if he says a tender a public apology to captain amrinder singh then people will ask him gentlemen what about mr rahul gandhi and sonia gandhi about what see already the videos what uh, siddhu spoke about mrs sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi are in uh, social media going on very fast and i tell you the name of rahul gandhi as pappu was made first by publicly mr navjot singh siddhu and then other parties adopted it so i think the congress is in a very tight position if siddhu doesn't oblige, oblige captain amrinder singh one thing i am very sure captain amrinder mm -hmm. singh with his stature and standing in the politics it will be very difficult for him to talk to uh, mr siddhu without uh, a public apology but if siddhu apologizes then it's problem for siddhu then the people and the even the press and the media will ask him gentlemen if sorry to captain why not to sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi so at present the congress see uh, in two three days what he is doing collecting uh, congress leaders it's not a public involvement collecting mlas it's again not public involvement and i would not say because they are not here to defend it most of the people who first switched over to his sides have men facing many problems in the land scam uh, sand mesca uh, scam and then this uh, un uh, officially liquor so they are now just take, uh, taking his shelter that they may be come as a honest heroes of the congress if they side with siddhu but unfortunately what is going on in the congress is very very detrimental to the interest of the state of punjab because there is no administration for last four months the nobody is attending law and order situation is worse lakhs of employees are on the roads there is a power shortage and one thing tanvi ji one thing congress has to also make it very clear you must have and your channel must have taken note of that that the companies to whom this congress is condemning the private players in the power generation it has come on record that they have given 18 crore 10 lakh rupees as a party fund to the congress and the chief minister office cleared it very clearly mm. that this money was not taken by him <laughs> or captain the punjab it was handed over to central leadership of the all india congress committee now second thing which the uh, mr siddhu has to answer and captain amrinder singh has to explain to the people when captain amrinder singh met the member committee in delhi he has a given a dossier against mr navjot singh siddhu with a serious allegations of corruption and the uh, vigilance department of punjab was given task to Answer. investigate all those they have to make it very clear what were those serious charges against siddhu of which the, he has he was making hue and cry and challenge and <laughs> second thing is mr siddhu has explained to the people of the state okay that he that he and his wife are responsible for the killing of 65 innocent people in the railway accident what he has done for them okay okay one one one, one by one one by one mr graver let charan singh sapra respond to the allegation that you've made on the power aspect yes mr sapra see, see tanvi i am happy that uh, you know akali dal uh, doesn't have any major issues except talking about the internal matters of congress party uh, secondly he has spoken about the electricity issue let me remind uh, you that uh, the three thermal plants uh, of government were closed during the uh, akali dal regime and they no, had given me wrong you're going to contact don't please i never interrupt no 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 i never interrupted you let me complete then you can mr. answer mr sapra don't tell wrong name those three plants <laughs> if you are saying three <laughs> plants name the three plants you can rebut me you can rebut me later on you can rebut okay. me later on please okay please okay. obey the rules you are senior to okay. me Yeah. Okay. 
See, the issue, issue is they stopped the three government thermal plants and they gave contract for three uh, uh, new thermal plants to uh, the private players. And what they did, they, they you know, protected them with, with 122 clauses. Now, whenever uh, 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 Captain Amrinder Singh government, they went to the lower court, they won the case in the lower court. But these private players got protection in the Supreme Court. Uh, why they got protection? Because of these 122 clauses which were framed by Akali Dal and the BJP government. And they have totally protected these private players. Now, Captain Amrinder Singh is again trying to find out some legal ways so that the 90,000 crores which this Akali government has committed to these private players, the government has to pay 90,000 crores periodically to the private players. We need to stop that. We are finding legal modalities to stop all this. And they have made an agreement to purchase uh, power at 5 rupees uh, per unit. So the issue is that they have created a mess. We are trying to resolve it. But the legal hurdles which Akali Dal has created to protect these private players we are finding it little difficult, but still we will get it resolved. This is as far as the power thing is concerned. Now the Akali Dal spokesperson, I'm astonished. He forgets that Captain Amrinder Singh has worked in field of education. He has worked in field of women empowerment. He has worked for the landless farmers. He has, you know, waived off the loans of landless farmers to the tune of 950 crores. He has given uh, 5 lakh rupees each to the families of the deceased farmers, he has uh, 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 he has given 658 crores for the Punjab Nirman program. So likewise, there are many programs, there are many issues which Captain Amrinder Singh's government has resolved. We have contributed to the state, to the people of the state, whether it is women empowerment, empowerment of the farmers. These are going to be the real issues. And the real issues in the elections are going to be the three farm bills and the farmers protest. The real issues are going to be the petrol diesel. Well, I don't know when real you will uh, all start talking about the election issues. Currently, we are all no. so busy, uh, you know, in this power play that uh, election strategy seems far, far away. But allow me to go back to our experts. And I want to, uh, you know, turn this around in a different way and try and understand where is the Congress leadership really coming from. Mr. Vipin Pabi, is there a merit to, you know, a, 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 any thought that Yes, we know and acknowledge that uh, there is some amount of anti-incumbency for Captain Amrinda. There is a lot of disappointment in terms of the promises that were made and not delivered. So let's just try and counter that by putting across a new face who openly talks and admits about these problems, blames the ch chief minister if he needs to, but try and gives a fresh pitch and a fresh image to the people of Punjab. Uh, yes, uh, indeed. You know, in fact... Uh... The, uh, the performance of Congress overall, I won't say, was very bright. Yes, some of the fields they did very well, including education, as Mr. Sapra was saying, they did very well. But there has been a lot of income in, in incumbency also, and particularly on this uh, issue of secretary. Dr. Amrinder Singh, when the, before the election, they promised that this is the first task is going to get done, is to punish people who were uh, responsible for that secretary. And it took him four and a half years to not been able to do anything. This incident took place incident about six years ago, seven years ago. But for four and a half years, the government could not, you know, uh, do much into it. The FIR which it filed, oh, that two or a few months ago, was crashed by the High Court because it was so blatantly, you know, uh, uh, prejudicial or whatever. That's what the court felt. But the point is that he had two major issues at that time. One was to punish the great in second -age case and four and a half years he was not able to do it. And second was the drugs issue. But well, that is a little debatable. Well, maybe some progress has been made there. I won't give full credit to it because there have been incidents, a lot of incidents coming in. Uh, I won't like to really comment very categorically on this, whether he has been able to be very successful or a complete failure. But some work has been done. Uh, yet, there, with all these four years, four and a half years, there is a bit of uh, end incumbency. But I think in the job, the it is, uh, you know, the major incumbency in anti incumbencies against the Akalis and the BJP, although they have split. But in Punjab, I think BJP uh, still people, you know, and they think that maybe Congress could be better right. alternative than these two. Uh, but this kind of things happening in the Congress, 
uh, it's becoming increasingly difficult. And Aam Aadmi Party, which was at one time, was we thought that it had almost disintegrated in Punjab. They are trying to revive. So much would, uh, can happen in the next five, six months. How Sidhu and uh, Amrinder Singh get along, if ever. If they don't get along, certainly there will be a vacuum and there will be other people who would like to get into it. Uh, but right now the situation is that at Congress High Command, after it has taken this decision, is not interfering anymore. It's two precious days and they are uh, you know, uh, not coming together at all. And both have very strong egos, apparently. Sidhu says, uh, or, uh, I mean, he has not actually apologized. And Captain Amninder Singh's um, spokesman, Ravin Tupural, says that unless he apologizes, uh, we can't meet. So, very egoistic positions taken by these two leaders. And, uh, and strangely, the party high command is also not intervening, which it should have done, and tried to bring the two leaders together to fight the elections uh, strongly. Okay. Can I answer, please? Okay. Uh, 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 Mr. Vinod Sharma, to you also. I know you said earlier, uh, Jaran Singh Sabra, I'm coming to you. Just one minute. But let me bring in Vinod Sharma as well. I know he. you said uh, that the uh, central leadership needs to intervene and, you know, uh, fix this right now. I don't know what's going on. But do you think maybe they believe, and this is why it's happening, that it's okay for captain to be, you know, for some time be uh, cut to size, let present, let's push Sidhu with the new vision, uh, try to counter this entire narrative about power, about crime, about drugs and everything with a new face. Well, I do think that the captain will bear his back like a slave to be whipped by the party like this. Can't there be a response from Captain Amarinder Singh? Assume a situation that he says tomorrow that he wants to demit office. What will be left of the Congress? They're not realizing this. They have had this kind of an experience historically with leaders, senior leaders who have played their innings and who have been sought to be cut to size in the twilight of their careers. And they have hit back. I mean, uh, you know, I grew up cutting my teeth, you know, covering Kamla Pati Tripathi. He used to write a letter every day to Raj, Rahul, Raj, Rahul Gandhi. A letter a day to Rahul Gandhi on the state of the party, on the state of the government. You know, let us not take people for granted. And I don't think, as of today, uh, with all respects to uh, the Akali Dal and other political parties in the fray, the biggest opposition for the Congress is from within. It is Mr. Navjot Siddhu who has gone around listing issues on which uh, our other government has not been successfully, has not been successful or has not kept its promises. And even now, he's talking about 18-point program, you know, 18 points on which the government needs to act or the Congress needs to act, you know. So, you see, the, the chief minister had said that whoever is made the PCC chief would be acceptable to him. But when Harish Rawat went and suggested to him that they have a meeting, he and Navjot Sidhu have a meeting, to which he said that I will not meet Navjot unless he makes a public apology about what all he said in the social media and the mainstream media against him. No self-respecting leader, at least of the age and experience of Amrinda Singh. And it is not that I am holding a brief for Amrinda Singh. I am just saying that it is as clear as daylight, even to a fool of the first order, that this is not the way to handle an issue or to bring about a generational change in a party or to prepare it for the impending elections. This is how not to do it. It is not how to do it. It is how not to do it. It's typical. I mean, I'm sorry, mm. you know. I mean, having having been ha having seen watched this state and uh, other like other states very closely, uh, an Aam Aadmi Party. You see, the threat was that Sidhu could join the Aam Aadmi Party, and perhaps the leadership wanted to preempt a repeat of Jyoti Radhi Sindhya or a repeat of what all uh, to Hemant Biswa Sarma or a repeat of Jagan Mohan Reddy's son, uh, you know, that this should not, that maybe that situation can be averted by, uh, you know, uh, announcing the appointment in the, uh, late in the night. They were well within their rights to reorganize the party in the hmm. state. Nobody is questioning their right. What one is questioning is the means to the end, not the end per se. 
and the means to the end were pathetic. You know, okay. this is you can't cut one liter no. to size uh, to prop up but, another. But when when it and comes down to day, this or that, when it comes down to knowing, Mr. Vinod Sharma, that Captain Amrinder is facing quite a bit of you know disgruntlement within the party cadre and uh, uh, state leadership, uh, as well as you know anti incumbency in the state. When they, when it comes to the fact that there is there is a crowd puller, if nothing more, in Sidhu who is constantly making noise and challenging, then what would you have the Can Congress I tell you one thing? leadership do? What Tanvi, would you have Tanvi, Sonia Gandhi? Ta Ta Tanvi, Tanvi, please just listen to me. You know how many MLAs attended today's 35 MLAs, including three ministers. I just got a, while I was discussing with you, somebody sent me a message, somebody whom would I normally rely. No, that's, it's not a question about numbers within the legislature party. It is the question of numbers in the new legislature party. After elections, yes. is this party, is this the way you prepare a party to face elections? Making two big leaders of the party fight each other in public or not speak to and publicly state they won't talk to each other. You see, the point is what it takes for a young leader like Navjot Sidhu. This country loves people who are humble. This country loves people who are humble. These also, this country also loves people who are willing to quit power, resign in protest. Some people made a career out of the threats to resign. I know, I mean, you know it and we, I know it. VP Singh used to carry a letter of resignation in his pocket. The people made him prime minister. Ramakrishna Hegade used to carry a resignation letter in his pocket. Even Dr. Manmohan Singh, not very many people know. People say he was a kind of a person controlled by the Congress president. It's not true. If he took a position, Dr. Manmohan Singh, he would have his way. It's just that the man didn't speak with the loudspeaker on. He okay. was a man of few words. So, the point is that still it is time. Yeah. Somebody should intervene, make both of them sit together, smoke a peace pipe, and say, let bygones be bygones. What it takes of Ravjot Sidhu to say, Bhai galti ho in the heat of the moment, I said all these things. I didn't mean that. I respect Captain Saab. It'll be over. Two sentences are needed. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, let me take that point to Charan Singh Sapra. Should Sidhu not apologize for publicly insulting your own sitting chief minister who is also your CM face for next election? And we, I respect Mr. Vinod Sharma and he is entitled uh, to all the views which he has expressed. Uh, regarding this issue uh, about uh, tendering an apology, it is uh, the prerogative of Mr. Navjot Singh Sidhu. I won't be able to comment on that. But as far as uh, Mr. Pabbi was talking, with all due respect to him, on the issue of sacrilege, I would like to clarify, uh, maybe he must be knowing also, he must be aware also, that the earlier SIT, they had arrested a DIG Umrangal, and they had also arrested a SSP level uh, officer, Mr. Charanjit Kumar, uh, uh, along with another 60 to 65 people who were arrested and a charge sheet was filed. Yes. Unfortunately, the court did not agree to the charges which were framed to the investigation which Mr. Kuwar Vijay Pratap had done. The same Kuwar Vijay Pratap is gone to Aam Admi Party now. And while the, while the court was giving the verdict, they have mentioned categorically that a new SIT should be made and Kuwar Vijay Pratap should not be a member of that SIT. So in a way that court has mentioned that this Kumar Vijay Pratap is, has not done his work uh, efficiently, he should not be inducted into the new SIT. So the new SIT is formed, the, the new SIT has a time frame, they have already started investigation, they have also uh, you know, questioned Mr. Subir Singh Badal and Prakash Singh Badal. I feel within the time frame, uh, the decision will be taken and the people, the culprit, uh, will be brought to the book and they will be definitely, you know, they will be charged and whatever Captain Amrinder Singh or Congress party had promised in 2017, we are going to deliver that promise, whether it was the sacrilege issue, whether it is the uh, drug mafia issue, you know, the drug mafia, they, are, they, they have already been reduced and, and uh, there is very, very less drug mafia today in Punjab. 
there have been so many rehabilitation centers which the government no, has no i don't think anybody so, is going to be buying that uh, uh, mr charan singh sapra that there has been great I, reduction in any kind of law and order issues or drug addiction or drug uh, mafia issues added to that is now this entire power crisis that you need to deal with so congress party really needs to get its house in order this uh, you know Tanvi every one day I, a new I, I, series that, of right. drama theatrics show of strength yeah. is not going to be helpful at all yes mr grever last comment to you before i wrap this yes my tanvi i must request you you are a senior journalist please tell the panelists to not to tell lie what mr sapai saying is totally wrong the sick instituted by the government is only for kotkapura firing not for sacrilege and all the six accused of the sacrilege has been granted bail by the court where they stand they are just cheating the punjab they yeah. are just cheating the people of punjab and they are playing fraud you know the last incident in jagraon in ludhiana district the people who were carrying a huge quantity of drugs they killed two asis in cv and till date in 3 months police even couldn't declare how much drug they were carrying and who were the people and where that consignment was to be delivered i tell that mr sapra you are a senior person you belong to bombay please credibility is that whatever you say you must have an evidence to support that whatever you said today on the channel was totally biased incorrect and against the facts no thermal plants have been stopped by shiromani akali dal it's the congress government which dismantled gurunanak dev thermal plant in bathinda and still protests are going against your finance minister in bathinda please for the god sake of punjab punjab don't okay completely punjab. out of time i need to come in here and thank all four of our panelists for joining us on this conversation uh, uh, you know while there may be a view that this kind of pushing sidhu to the front uh, giving into some of his demands uh, and making him the uh, punjab congress chief is going to help the congress party not only put out uh this fight between the two sides but also in their electoral fortunes many experts are not convinced with that and and the fact that the infighting continues the fact that captain amrinder is holding firm uh, is holding his ground and now publicly insisting that siddu apologizes only goes on to show that the trouble is only intensifying what happens next what happens when you need to strategize what happens when you need to identify who are going to be your candidates when you need to go about ticket allotment what happens when you need to identify what are you going to be what are going to be your key promises your key agenda for elections how are they going to agree on anything if they won't even talk to each other the congress leadership needs to act and act now on this thank you to all of the panelists for joining us on this conversation